So this is uh, our FSHD uh, DAX4 induced mouse model. So we induce DAX4 in this mouse model and then express DAX4 and then become phenotypic. So what you are looking at is... And this uh, is a calf muscle, right? This yeah, is a so this is calf muscle. So this is a day, six days later, I induce DAX4 in a high level and then you see a uh, lot of uh, kind of through this here, uh, you see that the muscle fiber, this is a relatively uh, healthy muscle here, but after the expo induction, muscle start dying like here, you see that the kind of tense, you know, uh, color here. So that's a dying muscle also. Darker presentation? Darker, yeah, darker, and then also this one too. Um, so this is a cross section yeah. of muscle strands, right? Mm -hmm. So every one of these. Yeah, so it goes through. You yeah. see that? So it's a we're cross-sectioning. Yeah, cross-sectioning. So, uh, so those are little darker colors. So those are dying muscle here, dying muscle here. And then, of course, uh, after muscle dying, the immune cells come. And then it's like around the healing, try to clean up the mess. So you see that lots of small nuclei come in here. Those are immune cells come to here and try to clean up the debris. Um, and is that debris? Uh, Evacuated through the lymphatic system. Yeah, yeah, but the like muscular dystrophy, you know, those are chronic inflammation, chronic problem, and they keep having this issue, and the immune cell just uh, kind of overwhelmed by this, and then become the, the accumulation of those dead cells, and then cause the inflammation. And yes. Then the, become the, the kind of chronic muscle disease which is muscular dystrophy uh, and as yeah. your husband was speaking yesterday like the death by a thousand cuts mm -hmm. you're this is looking at the death yeah per strand mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah exactly, exactly so it may not even be clinically uh, ex being uh, expressing itself so to speak clinically mm -hmm. but the, the death is actually taking place yeah. one little bit at a time until I guess you get a certain amount mm -hmm. and then the muscle really does become as yeah. its aggregate yeah exactly yeah muscle is just such a highly structured uh, tissue that it's not like a skin you have a wound healing a couple of days and then no problem but the muscle you have this cell death and fiber dying at the here and the here and then kind of start losing the structure and then you know me where you exercise and stretch and contract and then just uh, aggravate that the, those uh, um, muscle injury you can kind of spot that this is really dying there and then of course correlate with lots of immune cells surround it so detect that this is dying and the immune cell is there to clean up and this one is totally dying you can see that the immune cell is kind of get into the membrane so you see that the boundary here right yes so that is a membrane if we, your mouse fiber is healthy immune cell never get inside this fiber but dying the myofiber like this now that the membrane the structure is gone and the immune cell is actually inside and then basically just cleaning up the uh, debris also this one also already dead a long time ago and then the immune cell so it actually physically gets smaller this, yeah, this yeah, small. Yeah, yeah. So, so this was larger when it was healthier. Yeah. So see that the, you can see that the kind of uh, step here dying and then still has a mass to it, but the, because dying degradate and the immune cell get into and then uh, chew up that the, you know dying cell. Now muscle fiber has become smaller and then cleaning keep going and then smaller and smaller. So my fiber is basically uh, disappear. And so Dax4, you know, we keep finding that in a patient uh, has a lot of Dax4, but the uh, uh, symptomatic person doesn't have so much uh, phenotype on the uh, muscle, still express Dax4 at the low level. Uh, I think we are keeping uh, finding now that the Dax4 expression level per nuclear actually important. So when you do, uh, you know, huge area, okay, isolate the RNA and check how much Dax4 expressing. Doesn't really tell you how much Dax4 expressing per nuclear, you know, each nuclear. Uh, so when uh, you have that asymptomatic people don't have any problem, but they're still expressing Dax4, I expect that the, those people has a very low level Dax4 in each nuclear, and they don't really shoot out any 
signal. But in FSH patient, DAX4 expression in each nuclear spike has a spike of it, and then that send out the signal uh, something wrong about it, and then cause that the cell death or uh, immune reaction, so forth. So uh, if you look at the patient, um, yeah, so that the severe phenotype tissue, you see that the high level of DAX4 in the nuclear, and then that correlate with severity of phenotype. Um, and they're very mild model, so when you try to express DAX4 in a really low level in our mass model, don't really see this phenotype. You see that the some regeneration happened, like we see this, you know, damaged fiber, but we never see this immune cell coming to it. So low expression DAX4 in each nuclear really doesn't cause that much problem, which is kind of uh, I think it represented the asymptotic patient. The DAX4 was known to express highly when muscle differentiate. So if that is happening in a patient cell, okay, now we need the stem cell to differentiate, make a, you know muscle. That the time DAX4 likely express, and then that case that will inhibit you know, myoblast myotube differentiation. So that's really uh, inhibitory to repair the muscle, for right. sure. Yeah, so that's, that's not really good, yeah. And I think Daniel from the FSH Society showed me a video mm. of the collection of, I think, the DUX4 protein around, and then something just exploded. Mm. There is a video uh, on YouTube which actually shows the accumulation. The DUX4 starts to migrate, drift down, and then... The, t the tissue just explodes like a flashbulb that goes off or something. And I think that's showing over time the actual death of the, of the, of the growth potential. Mm. It, it, insofar as exercising, if you, yeah. uh, does Dux4 or these types of expressions mm -hmm. happen a day later or, or two during regeneration or, or during recovery as opposed to during use? We don't know. We know that DAX4 will express while they are differentiating. Okay, so myoblast and sitting next to this myofiber usually don't really express DAX4. Um, but like I said, the, there was exercise, stress, have to repair, and the stem cell now activated and differentiated at the myoblast and the myotube. That is a phase that the DAX4 expression goes on. Yeah, so I, I don't know that the, without that kind of uh, regeneration signal, usually how how they start expressing. And maybe like a stress too, because there is a lot of hormone response uh, regulator element upstream of DAX4 gene right. actually. In, uh, yeah. and, and I think Daniel once mentioned to me, if you were sedentary and you sit on a couch or chair and you don't even use muscle mm -hmm. that that in and of itself can keep you know they uh, express dux4 even when the muscle isn't necessarily being stressed or being used or tasked to do something i believe i recall him saying that so mm. yeah, yeah i don't know yeah it's really can't really <laughs> detect the dux4 dux4 is a really low expressing gene that uh, yeah and then, you know, you can read it, research in the human muscle. <laughs> so, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we, we're making that the um, mass model has a kind of regulated cassette uh, for DAX4 and connected to a kind of reporter gene so that we can kind of do that uh, experiment. The how, what, what trigger the DAX4 expression with the, yeah. So may I ask how long does it take from inducing a mouse to express DOX4 mm -hmm. to when you begin to actually see uh, apoptosis happening here? Yeah, so depending on how, how much you express DOX4, uh, but uh, if you express DOX4 uh, high level, you kind of start seeing at the day three, after day three, yeah. Day and three. then uh, day six, mm. definitely you see 
So this one is a day nine. Yeah, this one is day nine. Um, but the and then are you doing uh, panels or studies over time to mm -hmm. uh, 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 see the the progression over yeah, a period yeah. of time as yes, to yes, yes, yes. interesting? Yes, yes. Can you also control? the extent of the ducts for expression not that it's just expressing but whether it's you know the severity or the sign you know the amount that's ducts for you can actually control that yes, as well yes 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 yeah. That's yeah. unbelievable yes yeah it really this is a fascinating um model and this is your develop this is your yeah. model <laughs> so there there you have it folks yeah fabulous yeah.